as Bandler would say, sit here for a spell. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. So you don't have to share with us anything mm -hmm. about what it is you'd like to um, investigate. Yes. So you have something in mind, some issue maybe you've been thinking about or that you've been challenged by, something you'd like to learn more about, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So we start with, okay, Ernest Rossi doesn't start with this, but I do, so I don't know. You know, I have to mess with every single process I learn from somebody. <laughs> also, I'm really cold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. All right. So we're going to do this together. Now, I want you to look at your hands. Now, you know, hold them up so that you can really look at them. That's right. And Ernest Rossi would say, I want you to look at your hands as if you haven't really looked at them in a really long time. And I wonder if you can notice one hand feels a little different than the other, maybe heavier or warmer. And I wonder which hand is going to be the hand that represents this issue. You'll notice just by a, you got it. So what I want you to do now is I want you to close your eyes, putting that issue in that hand and I want you to trust your unconscious to go through anything that you need to find out about. As your unconscious goes through a nice review of that issue, the implications of that issue, the history and origin, as that happens, that hand will move all on its own. And you'll simply take all the time you need, noticing the thoughts that move through you. Anything you can learn. And as that's continuing, putting your attention on the other hand, as your unconscious explores all of your strengths, your resources, the lessons learned, how having had that issue has made you somehow more able to move forward. And as your unconscious explores all of your strengths and your resources and the lessons learned, that hand will move all on its own. Noticing what you can notice, learning what you can learn. Reviewing anything and everything that you need. Finding anything you need to discover. And as you do, noticing what you're noticing, 
when those aspects are ready to integrate in a way that allows you to move forward with creative ideas and solutions. Those hands can begin to move down all on their own. Allowing ideas to flow through you. Filtered through your resources, your strengths, your knowing. And as it all settles in, you might be aware of something brand new beginning to manifest in mind. John would say, no matter who you think you are, you're so much more than that. And when you're ready, you'll come back into the room, keeping everything with you that you want to keep. and letting go of what you don't need anymore. Hmm. It's up to you whether you want to share a little bit of about what that was like, or whether you just want to let it process for a while, it's all good. Either way is better. The, um, the physical sensations were very uh, surprising, very deep. I still feel like it's, it's uh, moving on a very, very deep level mm. everywhere. I find it in my, I feel it very everywhere in my head, but also everywhere in my body. Mm -hmm. Things shifting or, or moving or, and ideas came like deep, deep. Um, it's not like it were, some of the things were things I knew, but they came with very vivid images of, uh, when it happens, it's it's still still one of the image is, is uh, still very present because it was uh, so clear mm. and uh, and so some of it could come to my my clear consciousness, but a lot of things were kind of like escaping my ability to. Uh, rationally understand, mm -hmm. but it was very uh, profoundly, I could feel like uh, 
It's very difficult to talk about that trippy I stuff. I know it, it is. is very <laughs> trippy stuff, very profound. I it know. just felt really deep and very, uh, sometimes I, I got really moved at a certain mm -hmm. moment. And uh, but I can feel like something happened very profound. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that. I know sometimes it's hard to put into words yeah. uh, things like that. It's not really um, linear, sequential mm -hmm. processing. You know, it, it's really once we kind of encourage the um, the non-dominant hemisphere yeah. to just kind of go with it. Uh, it's really hard to to bring the left online for yeah. language. Yeah. And I, what I felt, if I can summarize the the. the maybe the, the most uh, um, impressive part of it was the fact of something working on so many levels at the same time that there was just, I could not grasp it, so I had to let it go. And let yes, it happen. good, good. Yeah. And it kind of goes back to the doing versus having that we were talking about yesterday. You know, at a certain point you can start doing something and then all of a sudden it's an experience you're having. Mm. And that really is the hallmark of a kind of unconscious processing. You know, you're not doing anything, you're not actively doing it, you're just kind of letting it happen. Yeah, and it's like witnessing something yes. deep happening on so many levels that you can't really understand what's happening, but it's definitely happening. Yeah. yeah. So thank Excellent. you very much. Thank you yes. for volunteering, I really appreciate yes. it.